the steps at the Hamilton 23 yard line trying to enhance a five point lead. And on the reverse, here's Brett Ralph, and he slips away, still going to the nine. So the kid brother of the Hamilton receiver with a nice run for 12. All kinds of confusion for the Hamilton defense who are trying to check the formation and they can't get it done. They're looking at them scramble back here, trying to get it done. That's Tony Tiller. He's trying to get them all lined up properly. There's Zeke Moreno trying to line them up properly and that catches the Hamilton defense off guard. They're not ready to flow to the football and then Brett Ralph does a nice job in the open field making a couple guys miss. Rob Cote checks into the game. He goes in motion. First and goal, Jocker Reynolds fumbles the football. And the tie caps, I think, are on it. And it's Sheldon Keith. Third turnover of the game for the Stampeders. Uh, he has been around the football, and this this is a great sign for Tie Cat fans. It really is. I mean, how many times this year has this team, at, at a point in the game like this, had something bad happen or start to fall apart? What a difference maker Charlton Keith has been tonight. Looks like Joffrey Reynolds ran into teammate Kenyon Rambo and. Charlton Keith scoops up the football. It's one area that Hamilton has been good in this year. They actually lead the CFL in fumble recoveries. That's a big one. And now straight ahead. With a penalty marker down, Julian Radlin. The fullback gets a carry. Take a look where Keith comes from. You see the left of your screen, he just slides across and he's been taking on those double teams. He ends up cutting through there and landing right on the football. But when you're hustling full speed, the ball seems to come to you. Procedure, Hamilton, no end. Five yard penalty, repeat first down. So an alignment penalty brings them back five. Charlton Keith has a pair of sacks and a pair of fumble recoveries in this game. He has been a force. First and 15, the screen. Colley gets a block. Terry Colley up to the 30 yard line. Nice call. It's a great call. He... Calgary Staff Peters going to put a little pressure. There's Colley there. Watch out. He'll just check. 1-1000, 2-1000, quick release. He's got a couple blockers in front of him and away he goes. Nice cut back to the middle. That's a perfect call in that situation to dump it off, and let your running back do the rest in the open field. And we haven't seen Jesse Lumsden back in this football game. 24 valuable yards. A first down for the Cats up at their 30. And Richie Williams eight for nine in the game. Charlie Tapp talking about Colley's explosiveness. They really like what they've seen in early reps for Terry Colley. Here's Williams on a roll. And Richie Williams out of bounds at the Calgary bench at the 36. Close to six more as we join Sherry Ford. Well, I just talked to Hamilton athletic therapist Chris Puskas, and he says that running back Jesse Lumsden suffered a burner type injury to his left shoulder, and he feels that there will be no problem that he will go back into this game. That's where it happened. That was early on, and he, in the second half, a bad handoff by Richie Williams, and 